Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Ben here with another video. This time, I thought I would show you how I would make my own playback. Um, I needed a jam track to use, a playback to use for some gear demos, and I didn't have much. The last video that I did, I used some old track of mine that I never used, I never used for anything. And um, I mean, it's a cool track, it's all in D, but I thought I would do something a little bit more dynamic, a little bit different, um, and as well, highlight one of the amp settings within the Iridium. So, I, and I hope to do two other songs, one with the chime setting and one with the punch setting. Um, but this one, we're gonna start with the first one, which is the round, which is the Fender Deluxe, uh, the, the greatest American amp probably, um, so many records, so many amazing songs, so many great tones, and I think we're going to see some of them. I hope we're going to get some of them in this track. So uh, let's kick it off with uh, our Logic file here. I'll walk you through a little bit about the Pro Audio Logic side of things, as well as the guitar side of things, um, to get the best of both worlds. So let's dive in, and here we go. <laughs> All right, so we're in the Logic file, and as you can see, I did a little bit of work. Um, I just added the drum track and the layout of the drum track. So what I do is I collapse um, and expand this menu here, which gives me the arrangement. I really like using the arrangement. That way my song is organized, and I know where everything is going to be. I know how long the song is going to be. Um, it can give me the layout. So I set the layout, and then based on that, I expand the drummer by using this little plus sign, and then depending on what is in the arrangement, it will actually play out that kind of drum track or that drum uh, pattern. So I figured I'd keep it simple, verse, chorus, verse, chorus kind of thing, simple playback jam track that you would find on YouTube. Um, and I set up a couple of tracks, two clean channels, a left and a right for the round, uh, the round amp and a bass guitar. So we're going to start with the bass guitar just so we have the rhythm. But before we do that, we need our chords. So what I always like to do is I always like to have a notepad with me back in the day, but currently in the year 2021, I think it's best to keep the notes right in the file. So they have this memo uh, folder, the memo pad or notepad they call it. And I actually already wrote down some chords. I'm actually removing our intro and I'm gonna go straight into the low and the high part. All right, so here are my chords. I'm gonna keep that open and uh, I'm ready to go. I gotta record enable my bass guitar track and let me grab my bass and we will get started. All right, I'll take my wireless relay and uh, get connected here. Unmute the pedal board. Cool. Level seems good. Let's go. All right, let's do that one more time. Let's quickly do a punch because I don't want to redo that. Simple punch right here.
Whoops. That's okay. That's why we have punching in. Yeah, I'm going to go to C. Cool. I actually lost a little bit about l Yeah, see I lost that because I didn't draw out the uh, But that's okay. I'll just quickly do a new one That's what's beautiful about logic quickly 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 bada boom But now I got to drag this out So I get as much room as I need for a nice a nice thing here Nice tremolo. Good enough for me, I'm gonna fade it anyways. And we are good with the bass. Okay. Mute it, unplug it, and put it away. All right, next, guitar. All right. Guitar is in. A little reverb, a little boost. And we are on the round setting. We want clean. We got to remove the bass from the channel here. All right, we'll give a little gain. All right, the first thing is always getting a good tone before you're going to plug it into Logic. So. Let's uh, sort of jam a little bit with the uh, with the track here so that we could hear it in context. Let's first make sure we are selected on this channel. All right, we're good. So, um, I mean, it sounds good to me, but I don't want to be on my neck pickup. I'd, I'd actually prefer for a... First of all, let's tune this thing up. tuned. And now, um, let's see. Let's stick with the first cab setting. And then, Okay, it sounds nice.
quick punch. Quick punch in, quick punch in right there. Easy, easy. Easy peasy. All right, beautiful. Now we are going to do exactly the same thing, believe it or not, on the second channel here. And I feel like it fills it up. So let's do it. Chord enable.
cool. All right. That gives us two stereo channels. Now I make them left, pan them left and right in logic, and let's hear it. Okay, it's sounding good. Let's pull up one more track that we're going to use only in the chorus and we're going to call it Round with Gain. And uh, let's activate that. And now with this time we're going to draw on a little bit of delay and we're going to kick in. So let's uh, let's see what this tempo is. Okay, cool. I like it. For the low part... got to get the low part a little better. So the low part starts on C. Cool, let's record it.
All right, I think I got it. Here we go. One more time. Here we go. Here we go. One more time. I always say that in the studio. It might just work. We'll see. Um, trying to think of anything else that I would layer in. I mean, other than synths, of course. But, I mean, as we said, this is a pretty simple playback. Not much going on. You know, just some basic leveling is what we need to do now. And, uh... up our mixer.
So that's pretty much it. I mean, at this point, um, we need a little bit of synth just to give a little bit of texture. So let's see how quickly I can get that down there and uh, see where we're at. All right, so let's uh, pull up a new track, a software instrument, and uh, let's give it a, let's move my coffee cup out of the way. All right, everybody good? Everybody's still good? All right, you're with me, cool. All right, so I mean, really we can go wherever we want here. I think that it's best to keep it simple. Simple is always good. Let's see. I mean, alternative. The, the only other thing that I would do is always pull up my Nexus plugin because the Nexus plugin is amazing. And um, just pull something up, maybe a warm pad, you know, or some strings. The computer's doing a lot right now, so it's probably why it's taking a little bit of time to open up my dear Nexus. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have some vinyl strings. It's a little bit too loud. Let's lower our volume here. Uh, arrow pad. All right, let's just go with that for now. It's a little bit too, too stringy, but. All right, now let's just do. Now what I like to do is just quickly, uh, basically put everything, quantize it first of all. So what I'll do is quantize it on the fourth note here as well. Quantize it on the fourth note. That way everything is on time. And um, Let's quickly change out the sound because it's just awful. Um, let's see what these sound like. Now we're just going to duplicate everything and duplicate everything again. 
See, the only thing is that I didn't label everything accurately. And um, here at the end, I have to change a chord. All right, I mean, it adds a little bit of texture. We're clipping here, so we gotta watch that. So as you can see, we're clipping. So let's just lower everything a little bit. Something's wrong here at the uh, connection. Alright, so there was an issue over here by the punch, as you could hear. It wasn't the smoothest um, transition, so what we're going to have to do is, we're going to have to do a crossfade. But we're not going to be able to do that right here. All right. So what we're going to have to do is flatten. So it's the base. So let's flatten and merge this. And then we'll be able to, once we flatten and merge it, we'll be able to uh, do a simple crossfade. Actually, that's not good. There we go, fix that. Okay. So not bad. I mean, I'm pretty sure we were just within that time frame that we wanted to be. Um, the song is pretty much mixed, very basically. Um, and now we are going to quickly make a mix down and here we go. Uh, we just have to fade out the bass and fade out this guitar track. 
as well as this one. And now we are good to go. The other issue is definitely in the beginning of the song, how everything just cuts. And the reason for that is that I didn't properly move everything over to the first bar. So that way there would be a little bit more room for the guitar to actually start recording. So the fix around this is definitely by copy and pasting from another verse. But we could really hide it with a, a little bit of a drum roll, so here we go. as well. Should be good now. Alright, now we are good to go. Um, the last thing you want to do is add a limiter to your mix down just so you can get the or the ultra maximize or something like that. Um, this is a great plugin that I use for mastering my tracks. Um, put it on mastering and it automatically sets it to peak uh, properly and you click bounce and we're gonna bounce it as a mp3 file and we are going to call it the chilled groove playback and put it in my folder and here we go um, actually we're gonna put it in logic under this folder there we go. Boom. All right. It's bouncing. Um, that's pretty much it. We made a track. Um, it has a couple of tracks, as you hear, but it's just enough for me to jam to. That's really all it's for. It's not a polished track. It's not meant to be perfect. There's lots of mistakes. It doesn't sound very good. Um, but it's, it's a usable track that I could use, and you got a chance to see the Strymon Iridium as a clean fender as well as a driven fender. Um, I hope to make some more songs using the chime settings and using the punch settings. So stay tuned um, and please make sure to subscribe for the channel. Um, comment below or you know hit me up with any ideas or thoughts you have on the video. Looking forward to sharing many more. Having a good time here. And uh, until next time, have an amazing day. Take care.